Microvest just reported its earnings for the second quarter. I'm looking at the revenue, why the margins are so bad and towards the end I'm telling you if I'm gonna open a position at this very cheap price. Before we start, I've also made an in-depth analysis of Microvest that you can find right here and I'm going to post the link into the description. Let's start our analysis with the most important aspect, the revenue growth. Revenue grew 93% year over year, which is a great sign considering the difficulties that Microvest encountered in the recent quarters. Moreover, it's really important that Microvest reiterated its guidance for 35 to 45% revenue growth for full year 2022. Honestly, the revenue growth is the best thing for Microvest right now because when we're looking at the margins, they are really, really bad. Gross margin sits around 8%. And although it is improving, it's still lower than its trend from 2020. The reason for the low gross margin is, and I quote, raw material prices remain at elevated levels as a result of supply chain disruptions as well as worldwide inflation. Our unit costs across the board are tracking significantly higher than we anticipated at the beginning of the year. This is a quote from Microvest president and it shows that because of its relationship with the customers, the company can't pass some of the costs incurred onto its customers. This confirms that the company doesn't really have pricing power because of its long sales cycle. Looking at the operating margin, this was really bad, around minus 70%. To understand it better, let's look at the operating expenses. There are two important things that we can see here. Firstly, the sales and marketing expenses are below 10%, which is really nice. On the flip side, the general and administrative costs are huge, around 53%, which came as a result of a 25% million dollars expense with share-based compensation. When considering the stock-based compensation for the last 12 months, this is yet another downside for Microvest, as it represented 67% of its revenue, which is a very elevated percentage. Remember that stock-based compensation is a real expense for shareholders as it dilutes them. Lastly, perhaps the most important aspect about a company is its ability to generate cash. Unfortunately for Microvest, the trend is really bad as the company only generated free cash flow sporadically during 2020, but in the last 18 months, the company can't even attain operational free cash flow, which is obviously another downside. Before I discuss Microvest's capital investments, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and consider subscribing. In terms of capital investments, Microvest completed its capacity extension in Germany, while the China and Tennessee projects are expected to be completed in 2023. Besides the $16 million that the company already invests, it's expected to spend another $200 million for the full year 2022. The intense spending in an inflationary period puts pressure on Microvest liquidity, but luckily for Microvest, it still has around $400 million in cash on its balance sheet, and it has multiple opportunities to attract new debt if needed. Regarding the stock, I am not buying it yet, as I believe it will be dead money until the company can improve its execution and margins. The trend is obviously bearish, as the stock has been selling a lot lately. As the short float is only around 9%, I believe that it has more to do with the company's slow execution and high multiples. Another possible reason is that Microvest is still heavily exposed to China. Besides the fact that more than 50% of its revenue comes from that area, the company continues to be subsidized by China as in 2022 received around $2 million. To conclude, Microvest is feeling a significant impact from the supply chain disruptions and from the high inflation in the commodity space. Even considering that Microvest has plenty of potential for future growth, the execution isn't good for now. Microvest doesn't have operational free cash flow, their products are really expensive to manufacture, which leads to very low margins. On top of that, the company is capital intensive, which means that it requires a lot of investments upfront, which aren't great, especially in a high inflationary period. As a result, I believe that Microvest stock is not investable yet. If you feel like you've learned anything of value about Microvest, please hit that like button and consider subscribing. Until next time, keep crushing it.